morning, friends. I'm just making my morning coffee. I'm waiting for a lady to arrive for a meeting, so when she comes, I might have to put you down for a minute. But I'm going to try to do a morning coffee mail call because, first of all, I need a coffee. But most importantly, I can't wait to share um, and have a morning coffee with you and show you all the pretty cards and things that I've, I got from all my friends. Very exciting. I just put some heavy whipping cream in my coffee. And yes, I'm using my Peace, Love, and Happiness cup. Love this cup. So it's a little different than a teacup chat, but it's something. Um, I'm making two videos today, I've decided. One, I already talked to you guys, and I'm not sure which one I'll post first. But I'm about to, after my meeting, I have to go and I don't have to. I'm going to volunteer with the classes that are going skating today because Misha and Mazai are going. And they need help getting skates and stuff on, and I'm sure other kids do too. Oh, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. And then um, another thing, I have to do some baking today. And I know it's going to be a long video with me jibber jabbering with all these, uh, all of this friend mail. So I'm going to start with some cards first. I have a couple of bigger things here, but we'll start with the cards first. And I'm going to jump right in. And I really want to enjoy these. I love doing these kind of videos with you guys. It's 8.39 now, so she's supposed to be here in 20 minutes. I know this will take longer than 20 minutes. But this one is from... Oh, this one is from my sister. <laughs> I know her address. This is one's from my sister. She asked me if I got a card the other day, and I said yes, but I haven't, I haven't opened it yet. So, my sister Carrie, if you watched my video yesterday, you would have seen her on there. Uh, she, she lives maybe an hour away from here, but oh, lovely. Oh, okay. She has a little note in here, so I, I won't read it, but... Uh, seasons, greetings, and best wishes. And then it says it in French, too. And it's a Royal Canadian Mounted Police card. Uh, from Carrie, Jeff, Oreo, Tucker, Gunnerhead from Heaven. She has... She had three pups. I say pups, but they're, they're old... They're uh, old... Oreo's an old lady, and uh, Tucker's a teenager, and... Uh, Gunner was an old man and he's now an angel with Granny up in heaven. But, uh, yeah. Look at this card. What a beautiful scene. It's uh, a dog on the floor with a bone and a bow wrapped around the bone. And you can see a policeman standing in the back. I'll show you in just a second. Just his legs and his uh, Mounty uniform. And this this, I can see it's supposed to be of the depot division, like where police officers go to become police officers. Well, I'll show you, and then there's a little thing on the back. Police officers are such a vital part of our community. They certainly are. They often get a bad rap, but uh, what would the world be without them, right? Uh, in 1958, B Block was built as a military-style barrack to accommodate all male troops. Female troops have been lodged in the dormitory since 1974. Fort Dufferin, a state-of-the-art dormitory currently under construction, will replace B Block in 2011. If walls could talk, oh, what stories they would tell. And then it has it again here in French, because Canada is a bilingual country, if you don't know that, French and English. So, yes, thank you, Carrie. It was so nice to see you yesterday. I love you so much. Sisters, sisters. So, yes, thank you. This one is from H. Sonye from Hebron. Hebron's here in Nova Scotia, not that far away. Um, I've, been, I've been through that area. It's, I believe it's from like where I live, down to the Yarmouth area, in that kind of area. Mm. Just a second, I gotta check the check the little, littles out there. 
yeah, they're all good. Maze, Maze is asleep on the on the couch, the Chesterfield out there. So, anyways, I'll look at the stamp. It's uh, looks like in the forest, like a waterfall thing. I didn't look to see. Oh, Carrie's looks like it was it's some sort of a crane or a bird. Yeah, and look on the back, Canada moose. It's a shiny sticker. Ah. So when I go out today, I have some cards to mail, and I'm going to do some more up today from these ones, whether I get them out today or tomorrow, but they will get out by the end of this week. So, oh, this is cute. Deck the halls, light the lights, wear a smile that's warm and bright. Oh, there's a letter in here. Sing some carols, trim the tree, and spend the season merrily. That's perfect. Merry Christmas from Hannah, from Tracy and family. Look at this, this is so cute. Oh, the stories that we can make up with this. The two elves working on decorating a tree at the North Pole, or maybe decorating a tree where out in the forest for the forest animals or something like that. That's awesome. There's three elves, I think two boys and a girl. That's fantastic. Thank you, Hannah. I will read your letter after. I certainly will. Yes, and you will be getting a card from me. Yes, you will. I'll have these all stand up after and take a picture of them. Thank you. This doesn't look like a... No, that's not. <laughs> that's not a card. This one is from... Jeff Wright of Barrington, Ontario. Just a minute, I think my cell phone's ringing, which is odd because I don't get reception. Oh boy, 8.45. <laughs> what is this stamp? This is like in a rural countryside with a fence, like a fall setting. I know you guys can't see that. Not very good anyways. And it has Canada on it. Oh, this is cute. Uh, this, yeah, this is who I thought it was. Have a fun-filled holiday season. This is from the Happy Canadian. He has a channel too, and yeah, out in Ontario. And he does regular vid visits, er, uh, videos. So I'm going to put his link down below so you guys can check him out too. He has a, a beautiful family and he's a hard working guy and uh, he's a very festive fella. He really is. Look at this one. It looks like an elf jacket. An elf suit. The kids are like this. We'll have to name this card. Pretend it's an elf. Just missing the head and body. but Elves are magical, right? So they can just... Uh, appear when they want to appear. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, thank you. You'll be getting a card from me. Yes, you will. This one's from E. Langell from Truro, Nova Scotia. That's again here in uh, Nova Scotia. That's a ways away from here. That's going up, heading up towards Cape Breton, if you know that way. Like It's, it's a few hours away, but you never know. We might cross, cross paths someday. But uh, look, at the, this is one of those fancy envelopes that match probably the card that's in there. It, it's a designer card. And on the back, it's like a, a lake scene with the sunrise or sunset shining on the... Oh, it's not a lake. It's like a river. But there's a train in the background. I couldn't see that. Maybe it's the Polar Express. I like the Polar Express. I still haven't watched that this year yet, but I want to watch it. Last night, um, I was helping Mally wrap some of her presents that she got at that bazaar. And we watched The Christmas Carol, the cartoon one with Jim Carrey in it. I really like that movie, too. I really do. Oh, <laughs> this is cute. There's a note in here, so I'll make sure I read it after. Wishing all the joy and happiness this holiday season brings. Well, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Esther, thank you. Right back at you, sister. 
seriously. Love it when you sit and fill the wood stove. Well, I love it too because I like a nice cozy Christmas kitchen. Yes, I do. This is a fantastic card. Look at this one. The snowmen and the little birds. What are those kind of birds? I should know birds. I'm in Nova Scotia and there's tons of birds here. I don't know what kind of birds those are, but I see them all the time. My husband would laugh because he knows birds, but I don't. But the little Christmas tree that's beside the snowman has um, little bird houses in it. So yes, the little birds sharing the Christmas tree with the snowman. Yeah, I love the little stocking cap or, uh, with the pom-pom the snowman has on. We'll make up a nice story about them. I think they're singing songs to this lonely snowman that puts that smile on his face. That's what I'm thinking. Just a minute, I think Maze is rousing. No, he must have just been growling in his sleep. Silly guy. Oh, this is a cute one. This one comes from an animal lover right off the bat. I'm sure you're all animal lovers, or a lot of you are. Mm, that's delicious. Look at this. Uh, I don't know where this one comes. Oh, yeah. St. Catharines, Ontario. S. Bertrand. 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 It has a puppy and a kitty. Isn't that cute? And it has, you can see the border all around the envelope. I'll cover up the address. And it's like a designer envelope too, one of those fancy schmancy ones. And, oh, and it says holiday kisses. They're brother and sister. You know, there's, families are made up of so many different ways, right? The pup and the kitty are brother and sister. Let's see here. I'm scared I don't want to cut the cards. Oh, it's nice. There's a nice little note in here, so I will read that after. Tracy and family, holiday snuggles are the best. Have a warm and cozy holiday. Sherry and Richard. Shara? Sherry and Richard. Look at this. It's like the little, it's just a bigger picture, but how adorable. The kids are going to love this. And the, there's the snowflakes on here have glitter on them. I don't know if that's picking up. Yeah, I'll get the kids to name these two. I wonder what they'll pick. And they're just babies. You can see them. They're just little babies. So cute. Thank you. Thank you. You will be getting a card for me. Yes, you will. The kids are going to have a blast when they come home to see all these cards. Because I'm not going to hang them on the string until they get home. And we can look at them. Yes. This one is by Airmail. Old Windsor, Berkshire, United Kingdom. This is from uh, Sue John's Treetops. Ooh. Wow, this is a long ways from home. Oh, I love this stamp. It has one of those mailboxes they must have in the UK. And a man carrying a, a, a Christmas tree on his shoulder. That's fantastic. Let's open her up. Happy Christmas. Oh my, I've never seen a card like this before. This is wonderful. There's a little note in here. From Sue and family. Wishing you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thank you, Sue. Thank you for sending me a card from so far away. This is wonderful. I hope you're having a wonderful, festive, love, food-filled holiday in your neck of the woods. Yes. Look at this card. Winter at Windsor Castle, it says on the back. There's a little bit of glitter on it. But you can see those two, what are they called? Royal Guards? Is that what they're called? The ones that stand still as a statue outside of it? That's beautiful. Yes, we'll have to look up. I think I'll look up Windsor Castle. I mean, I know Windsor Castle, but we'll look it up when the kids, uh, when we look at this card so I can show them there is a Windsor Castle. And they'll learn a little bit, of, little bit about your... Uh, 
you're a part of this beautiful world we all share. Yes. Thank you, Sue. Thank you. Again, you'll be getting a card. I'm sure it won't get there before Christmas, but you'll be getting it. Might be there before New Year's, so I'll make sure there's a Happy New Year's on that card, too. We'll see. Uh, Royal Mail, Northern Ireland. Wow. Stay well. From Marie from Northern Ireland. Oh, I would love to go see Ireland someday. Really, that's part of, you know, part of my ancestry. Someday, someday I will get to Ireland. Yes, I will. Wow. Wonder when you had to send this to get this here. I can't see. Stay well this winter. It's like a postage stamp. Let's open it up. Marie. Wow, Marie. Thank you. I gotta, I'm just uh, beaming from the inside out. You guys might not be able to see, but I'm sending my uh, love on this Atlantic Ocean breeze all the way to you. Yes, I am. Oh, there's a couple of cards in here. A nice letter. I'll read this. Oh, there's a few cards. That's, oh no, that's just, there's a paper inside that's attached. Wishing you a Merry Christmas, Tracy and family. May joy be your gift at Christmas, and my faith, hope, and love be your treasures in the new year. God bless you always. Best wishes from Marie. Well, thank you, Marie. Thank you, thank you. Look at this. I think she made these cards. How festive is this? I love how it goes, like, the border all around it. Oh, you're a, a techie lady to be able to do all this. I'm not very good at that kind of stuff. Oh, I'm going to cherish all of these cards. I really am. Oh, this one's for Maze. When he wakes up, I'll get him to see this. But it says, Merry Christmas, Maze. For unto us a child is born. It certainly is. May baby Jesus bless your little heart and bring you and your family peace and happiness now and always. Merry Christmas, Maze. With love and best wishes from Marie. Oh, Marie, thank you so much. Look at this adorable card. It's like those precious moment characters. Is that what they're called, precious moments? Uh, but of the nativity scene. And inside, there's an angel and baby Jesus. We were just talking about, like, yesterday at, at Dad's, um, I mean, of course the kids are all excited about Santa Claus and the whole crafty thing and the lights and twinkling thing, but we were, we were sure to sit and talk and just mention, you know, what where did Christmas come from? Like, what, what it was and the birth of Jesus and, uh, you know, it's, it's very important that the kids aren't masked, masked away from that, you know, where it all came from, so, yes. Uh, I'll make sure I bring this up with him and the kids too. This is such a, a cute little card. If you can see the little, there's a lamb, a rabbit, a squirrel, and two little chicks, and a cow and a donkey and a little bird up there too. It's not just the cute little kitties there, kiddos, because uh, there's more than just people in this world, and we're we're all created somewhere and by a by a creator. So yes. Thank you, Marie. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll make sure I point this out, too. Um, I want to start doing that to point stuff out on a map to see see how far these cards come from. And not just Ireland, but all over the states and all over Canada and all over the world. You know, it's so wonderful. Um, yeah, we have friends everywhere. So, and you have a friend here in Nova Scotia forever and always. Yes, you all do. Okay, it's 8.57. We'll see if she shows up on time. Oh, this one's from my friend Lori. You might see her comments down below. Yeah, we've uh, we've been in contact uh, occasionally, but Lori, I just love you. You know I love you. Look at this card. Or this uh, honoring first responders. Again. Well, police officers are first responders, but there's so many more than just police officers. Firefighters, search and rescue, uh, anybody that volunteers to try to help somebody else. Like, oh, yes. That's what the stamp is. That's awesome. Uh, Lori's from Apex, North Carolina, and her little, I'll cover her address. 
her little address sticker has a reindeer with baubles or lights hanging from his antlers. <laughs> and on the back, there's a snowman. Or a snowman. Santa Claus. Looks like he's trying to hold on to those presents. He's, he's uh, slipping and sliding. Oh, and there's a little reindeer Rudolph sticker down in the bottom. Ah. Oh, Lori, you know I love ya. Nope. Nobody yet. Oh, this is a fancy schmancy one. Lots of glitter. Oh, wow. The kids are going to love this. I love this. <laughs> oh, my. Look at this. This If this isn't cozy, I don't know what is. Uh, right out the fireplace and so festive. I mean, we have this fireplace here in the kitchen, and I love it. I love having a fireplace in the kitchen. But I know at Dad's, if you guys see sometimes I remember as a kid he would make a fire in there around Christmas time he doesn't use it as a fireplace now but we'd have our stockings hanging on the mantle and uh, now he he doesn't use it now but it would be cool to have a working fireplace uh, that's an actual fireplace but uh, yes you can see the glittery well there's sparkles all over this and there's presents on the floor and candles going on the mantle can you see the glitter Yes, lots of glitter on the, well, i got to show you the inside. It's one of those, one of those 3D ones. I'll stand it, stand it up so you guys can see. This is cute. You can see the mantle thing, like that was on the front and the back, but now there's a Christmas tree poking out and a little dog resting on the floor in front of the fire. And we used to have a, a dog, his name was Frankie, he would always lay in front of the fire. It was at our old house where Medea lives. That's the hot spot of the house. All the kids and all, you know, Frankie would fight over that spot. He would curl right up by the fire. But I love this. This is beautiful. Beautiful. On the back, there's a little note. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Tracy and family. Hope it is filled with lots of love and fun. Lori M. from North Carolina. Oh, Lori, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Ah, oh, just precious, just precious. Okay, Let's see if I can squeak one more out before she gets here. It's 901. Oh, this one is from Cheryl, Cheryl from Walkerton, Indiana. Yes, USA Forever 2016. Nice, pretty red envelope. Let's take a gander. Oh, Tis the season to be jolly. Fa la 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 la. Uh, and she has a nice little personalized note. May God bless you this holiday season. Best wishes, Cheryl from Cheryl's Country Home. Yes, Cheryl, I see all the festive videos that you've been doing. I don't get a chance to comment on a lot of people's, but I watch. I do watch some. Um, I'll make sure her link is down below, too. Uh, she's such a wholesome, down-to-earth lady. Look at that. Santa with some, it looks like a hedge, is that a hedgehog? A little cardinal on his, his pom-pom and up on the end of the end. And the reindeer with the baubles hanging from his antlers. Thank you, Cheryl. Thank you, thank you. Oh, this is awesome. Awesome, awesome. Well, I still have quite a few left. I think I'm going to save those for after. You'll see here a card and a couple of thingalingas. You'll see. But I'm going to have this last swig, and she should be getting here any second now. So I'll be back um, a little later on. I'll be done my coffee, but maybe by that time I'll want a cup of tea, and we'll finish off with a cup of tea. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you later. All right, guys. Well, it is the next day, actually evening. It is 20 to 10 at night. I just got back from Success Club. I've been filming a bit today, so that video will come up after this video. 
I was going to try to post them both tonight, but I know I'm not going to be able to. I'm tired, so I'll post that one hopefully early in the day tomorrow. And hopefully I won't have those technical difficulties um, like I did last night about posting vlog number 20. I had published it last night, but it didn't show up, so I had to republish it again this morning. I don't know why, but whatever. It's there. But instead of having coffee now, I'm having a big cup mug of that sugar plum tea. Um, I wanted to break from the sugar cookie dough tea or whatever. I really like that kind, but just something with a little more zing. And yeah, it's been a long day. Mm. Oh, this is good. So, um, I haven't hung up those cards that I opened yesterday that you've seen me. I know this is all in one video, so it seems like one big day, but it's two days. Um, I'm going to hang those up later. Um, I just want to do them all at once. I'm going to get the kids to do it tomorrow, and they can find strings all around the doorways and stuff. But I got a whole bunch of more mail today. Dad called me while I was in town, and I got some more mail. So I need to open this stuff, and I can't wait to do it and show you guys, and we'll talk and everything. I'll start with the this right off the bat. It's a postcard. Um, there's a note here. Your fall show is amazing. Huh. Card only. Who is this from? Adriana. What a beautiful name. Look at this card. Armdale and District. Poplars of uh, Arbor Arboretum. Arboretum? I don't know if I'm saying that right. Uh, Gostwick Chapel, Armdale from North Hill. Where is this? Oh, this is from Australia. Wow, Australia. Wow, you must have had to mail this a long ways away. That's literally on the other side of the world. Oh, thank you so much. And it has a, a nice little note here. Wishing Merry Christmas, uh, Christmas blessings, and a joyous new year. And yes, what a neat, neat uh, postcard. I'd love to see Australia. Yes, I would. I had a friend, well, I've talked about her before, my friend Crystal, my sister-in-law's friend Crystal. She lived in Australia for a year and went to a teacher's college or something there. And she has such amazing stories of that beautiful country. But look at this stamp. It has... Well, I don't know who it is, but I'll cover up. Can you see that stamp? Beautiful. It looks like two ladies with halos around their heads, and one's playing a musical instrument. Wow! Thank you so much for sending this to me. I'll have to show the kids where Australia is on the map, because, yeah, I, uh, that's a long ways away. Long ways away. Uh, Yes, thank you, thank you. I will send a card. Yeah, your address is here. Uh, Bertie St. Armadale. Yeah. I will send a card. Obviously, it is going to get there after Christmas, probably after the New Year. But I'm still sending a whole lot of peace, love, and happiness your way. You know I am. And I'd give you a great big bear hug if I could. Yes, I would. <laughs> awesome. I got another postcard here. This is adorable. This one is from Toronto, Ohio. I didn't know there was a Toronto in the States. But yes, because there's a Toronto here in Canada, obviously. But look at this card. Merry Christmas. Oh, I didn't know if that's put together. It looks like a Christmas tree being pulled, pulled on an old-fashioned sled. And it's like an aerial view. Isn't that clever? Nice. And there's a nice note here. I'll cover up yours. Well, I could read this. Have a Merry Merry Christmas. Tracy and Honey Bee in brackets. Wishing you peace, love, and joy this holiday season. Thank you so much. I'm just trying to see who this is from. Oh, CJ Money Entertainment. I didn't realize. Yes, she has an awesome YouTube channel. Uh, I got a card from her last year, and she does reviews and everything. 
Um, and what a great personality. I'll make sure I put her her link down below. Yes, I yes I will. And that's what she calls uh, her subscribers, honeybees. So yes, now that I uh, see that, she it's you should really go check her out and tell her I said hi. But she has some stickers, little stickers around. There's a butterfly, a starfish, and two happy faces, and a turtle down there at the bottom. Isn't that nice? Thank you. Thank you, CJ. Thank you. Yeah, really check her out. She has such personality. It's busting through the screen. It really is. This is a, a nice big envelope by Airmail. Where is this one from? Uh, Royal Mail. International Standard. It must have come from a ways away. Well, let's see here. It's taped up good. I might open it from the bottom because the top's all taped up. Ooh. Surprise the kids aren't coming out here. I don't want to tear anything. No. Ooh. I didn't leave anything in there. Oh, I did leave something in there. Oh, this is awesome. There's a nice. Oh, you enclosed an envelope with your address on it. Good, because this doesn't have an address on it. That's perfect. I'll make sure I write this down in my book. North Wales, Great Britain. Wow, a long ways away. North Wales. This is from Amy. Amy G. I won't say her last name. But look at this little felt gingerbread. Different colors. There's green and white and brown and red. I'll get the kids doing something with these. Uh, maybe hang hang them up or get little magnets to stick on the back of them or something. Oh, let's see. Oh, what a beautiful card. From our house to yours. There's more stuff in here. There's a nice note in here from Amy and family. Yeah. Wishing you a Merry Christmas from our house to yours. Oh, and her address is here on the back too, but look at this. What a fancy card. It looks like a house. When I think of houses in Britain too, like I, I know they're kind of stuck together, at least in the cities, it's what it kind of looks like to me, but they look kind of like this to me. Well, thank you, Amy, and from my house to yours, I hope you have the most joyous, joyous holiday season. Yes, I do. Yes, and you will be getting, uh, I'll return, I'll return a letter to you, and uh, yes, because I have, uh, have stuff ready, rearing to go, yes. Look at the other things, like those felt gingerbread, here's little snowflakes. It almost makes me want to get a little Christmas tree, like one of those little ones, tabletop ones, and uh, put, put these decorations on it. And these are stickers. I see the sticker thing on the back. You peel off. But a fox, a Christmas tree, and some chestnuts. Thank you, Amy. The kids are going to love this. I love this. I certainly do. I like this house because it even has the chimneys up there. Do you see that? Yeah, you need a chimney sweep. And the door is like 3D. It's, it's poked out a little bit with a ribbon on it. That's a nice card. I've never seen one like this before. Thank you. I don't want to get this stuff mixed up, so I want to keep it all together. Perfect. I'm not trying to just blow through these. I just have so much to do. I don't want this video to be hours and hours long. I need another sip, though. Yes, I do. <laughs> mm. It's a little, little uh, zingy to hangy. This one is from Vero Beach, Florida. It doesn't have the name, it has initials up there, so we'll see. But Florida, oh, it's nice and toasty there, I bet. Um, I know people that go to Florida every day, uh, not every day, every year. That's another wonderful place I'd love to, love to visit someday on my bucket list to do. It seems like so beautiful and warm and carefree, fun and fancy free there. Yes. Believe in the magic of Christmas. Wishing you a magical holiday season. Oh, purple and blue. These guys have an awesome channel too. 
Uh, they're two ladies, and they have so much love for each other, and so much love for everything they do, and where, you know, all their videos and stuff, and such a sense of humor. You really should check them out. I'll put their link down below too. Yeah, but look at this. I like, and Christmas is a magical time of year. You can find magic all year round, but it's easier at Christmas time for people to find magic, right? Thank you, purple and blue. I remember last year when I sent them a card. I I just think it's cool. Their names, I don't think that's their real names. Maybe it is. But they go by purple and blue. And I wrote purple, blue, purple, blue, purple, blue all over their envelopes with purple marker and blue marker. Purple marker and blue marker. <laughs> they must have thought I was crazy. Uh, this one is from John and Donna from Chess... Chinchester, no, Chichester, NH, NH, New Hampshire, I think that's New Hampshire, this, this name looks uh, familiar, yeah, I think it does, let me just see, I'm sorry if uh, I can't think of who you are right off the bat, but New Hampshire, that's, I, I'm just going to have to put it flat out there, I'd love to visit all of these places where these this mail comes from. We live in such a beautiful wide wide world with so much so much to see and so much to do and so much to appreciate. Oh there's a nice note in here um, from Donna. Uh, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. I won't read the note here. It's a nice long note. So Donna I'll make sure your card goes out in the next round. Yes yes it will for sure. And I hope you have a wonderful holiday season. But let me show you this. A puppy and a lamb. Can you get more cute than that? A baby lamb and a little puppy with a Santa hat. D stone breaker. Bracker. It must be the design, the card designer or photo designer. That's cute. Really cute. I'll make up some stories. I'll get the kids to name these two. And how they became friends. Maybe they grew up in the same house and they... You know, they love each other very much like siblings are supposed to, right? <laughs> They're always love-hate relationships, you know. <laughs> but when it comes down to it, there's love. There's so much love in the world. Love wins every day. This one is from Judy S. from... Uh, our... I don't know if I'm going to say that right. It's She's from Kentucky, so I don't want to mispronounce it. <laughs> it's tam, stamped from Charleston something. Uh, but our Jalite? I don't know if I'm saying that right. Um, yeah, Kentucky. Wow, Kentucky. Peace, love, and joy. Look at that sticker. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. And the stamps up at the top, it's... Uh, Christmas Stamps, Florentine, National Art Gallery, 2016. Up there. Yeah, I would have such a stamp collection. Uh, I save all my envelopes. I know I've told you guys that before, but if I ever take them out and uh, look them, you know, put them on display somehow. Oh, look at these stickers. They're those puffy stickers, too. Not the flat stickers, those little squishy ones. Do you remember collecting stickers? And sometimes the top would peel off and there's like a little piece of foam. Not foam, but the squishy, I don't know what, like in a pillow or something. Ah, uh, yeah. Santa Claus stickers. The kids will love these. This weekend they were asking, if, are we going to do anything this weekend? Are you coming out? Yes. Okay. All right, guys. He just had to come out and get something but yes this one is from my friend Judy yes and I just looked at it while I was talking to him it's so cool there's a little note in here I won't read that uh, to to you guys but thank you Judy it's a lovely lovely little note but look at this I'll show you the outside first I'm thinking that it's a uh, brother and sister skating on a, a pond and their little brother is up here and they're at uh, like a little, uh, they're, well, it's probably a house. It's probably a house. They just live on a river or something like that. 
but there's sparkles on this card. I don't know if you can see that. But look at this. Open it up. And it's the whole scene. There's a bridge over here. And there's two people up here walking, holding a couple of gifts. And somebody going into a house over here. So I'm thinking that those people carrying the gifts are walking over to that house where they're walking in to go to a Christmas party. That's the story behind this one. And um, the, the people skating are just neighborhood kids doing the kid kind of thing. Yes. Thank you. What a beautiful card. It says, warmest wishes for a bright and happy holiday. Well, thank you. And all the houses have, like, lights dangling from it. This is a really adorable card. Yeah, the sparkles that are on here are on the wisps of snow. Those white, I don't know if it's picking up. Very nice. Fancy, fancy. And there's a snowman there, too, with a great big old grin on. You know, he's enjoying this time of year. Absolutely. So, thank you, Judy. I'm so glad that you found me. I know you said you don't know how you found me, but you're glad you did. And I'm glad you did, too, because we're one great big happy family. Yes, we are. Absolutely. Oh, should I open it? No, I opened it. another red card. This one's from Airmail 2. I've got to keep those stickers over there so they don't get lost. Boy, I can't believe all the mail I got. This is just so heartwarming. It really is. It really, really is. This one is... Well, the stamp looks like one of those um, mailboxes. Ooh, I almost knocked my tea over. Like the kind that they'd have over in Britain or something like that. So maybe that's where this is from. I can't see. The address isn't on it. Let's open it up. Oh, wow. Across the miles at Christmas. Merry Christmas wishes sent to you across the miles with greetings for a season full of happiness and smiles with love sophie here in the uk sophie thank you sophie what an awesome card and your address is on the back excellent united kingdom wowzer dowser look at this santa claus and his reindeer and a little townscape and the snow that's on the rooftops has sparkles on it so you know it just adds an added touch to it for sure fantastic thank you Sophie thank you thank you and yeah I'll be sending something out for you too but again it's gonna be a little late getting there but you know that it's on the way and you can celebrate Christmas all through the year right we may need to keep that joy in our hearts yes we do yep I love this one there's a snowman up by this house and somebody standing in the window up at one of those top houses I don't know if you can see that beautiful all the stories we can have everybody in these houses must be sleeping except for that one looking for Santa so that might be the lucky fella that gets to see Santa shooting across the sky but I like that it's a nighttime scene too and I for those that aren't around snow Snow almost glows at night time sometimes. Like in the moonlight, it glows. It's just it's so beautiful and magical. Magical, magical. All right. Boy, I'm going to be busy doing cards this weekend. Yes, I will. This one's from Janice H. from Mill Bay, B.C., British Columbia. That's on the other side. That's on the west coast of Canada. That's a long ways away, too. My sister used to live out in B.C., for years, her and her husband, but um, they they lived in Abbotsford. I don't know if that's anywhere as close to where you are or not. Or maybe they worked in Abbotsford and lived, I don't know. But that was quite a while ago. Oh, I should look at the stamps too. It looks kind of like a butterfly, but it has the little antennas, like a moth, maybe. Ah, uh, still. That's a glimmer of Grammy right there. Oh, what a cozy card. Warm Christmas greetings from our house to yours. Christmas is the perfect time to send greetings from our house to yours. 
hoping that the Christmas season will hold in store all the happiness you're hoping for. Have a Merry Christmas from Janice. And there's a little personal note in here. Your faithful subscriber. Well, thank you, Janice. I love you so much. I really do. This just warms my heart. After a long day coming home, sitting by the fire, I kind of do that here in the kitchen. It's not any kind of scenescape like this one, but it's still nice and cozy. Uh, but I just love having the Christmas tree on and all the lights off. It just gives that warm glow. When I got home this morning, oh, what a busy morning. I won't get into it, but I was so tired. I laid on the couch. Maze was still sleeping upstairs, and I didn't want to go up because I'd end up waking him up. My husband was upstairs too. And uh, But the Christmas tree in the TV room was on, and the drapes were all shut and everything, so it was still kind of dark. And I just laid there and kind of catnapped, and it was so cozy with the Christmas lights. That's what this looks like to me. Only this tree is a lot nicer than my tree. <laughs> Thank you, Janice. I love it. It's Millbrook Studio. That must be the card company. But thank you, thank you. And yes, I got your address. It's going down in my book. Yes, it is. Oh, boy. I feel like I'm not giving you guys enough appreciation. Like I'm zipping through these. And I'm, I just I want to make sure that I get to them all. This one is from... Uh, North Augusta, Ontario. Ontario. I haven't been to Ontario for since I was a teenager. But I have family out in Ontario, out in the Whitby area. I don't know if that's anywhere as close to Whitby or not. So if any of my family are watching, I want to send you warm holiday wishes. Oh, a parcel. It's wrapped up tighter. Oh my lordy lordy. Oh, I can't show the kids this tonight. Look at this. Oh, this is fantastic. It's a package of gum. I don't want to say it too loud. Those guys are still up out there, but it's the first day of Christmas break. A package of gum. All these candies are stuck to it. It's like a car or a train. That's what it looks like. Kind of like a train with the little smokestack there and the thing. <laughs> That's awesome. I don't know what this is. A little... What is this? The kids will probably know. Oh, there. The little clamps. That goes this way. That's why I'm not doing it right. What are these clamps for? Let's see. There's a few clamps here. This is so cool. <laughs> I'll be able to give each kid one of these. There's a bunch of stuff in here, you guys. Another clamp. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, I'm gonna knock my tea over, I swear I'm going to. This is Santa's sleigh. Look, Santa's sitting right at the head. I don't know how you thought of this. They are gonna love this. I don't want them to come out and see this right now. There's Smarties, like as the bum of the sleigh, and a Kit Kat down underneath. And the sleigh things are candy canes, and it even has a Santa Claus there with the golden bear. Now, I see a couple chocolate bears. Just uh, Mazaya will have the ones with the nuts in it. She's not allergic to nuts, but oh, that is so cool. So cool. I'm going to use these tomorrow. We'll do something fun with the kids, and uh, that'll be their little treat. Another one. That's fantastic, and I don't know if you see that ribbon hanging. It has Christmas lights. What an awesome idea. I'm going to have to do this sometime for Christmas presents for my little, little people in my life. Oh, here's a little paper cutter kind of thing, maybe to slice that stuff apart. But thank you so much. Is there a little note in here? might have sent me an email to say that you were sending me this. So I might have your address on this. What do you need, Mish? I'm just busy having a visit with my friends. You'll see this stuff tomorrow, okay? Because 
you'll have to wait and see till tomorrow, okay? You've had enough sweets and treats tonight. You'll see them after, okay? Skedaddle. I can't. I can't because they will want, will want this tonight. Yeah, I think you might have sent me an email. I'm pretty sure you did, so I'll look that, uh, look that up. So I think this might be from you, too, because you said you sent me two parcels. Uh, four, four near is the, must be the family name, maybe, K and A. Let's see. I remember getting an email saying, saying that. Let's see. Oh, that just makes me grin. <laughs> What a great, great, you know, for my nieces and nephews and things. Like, I could go to the store and just get a bunch of candy and make up little things. That's going to be so much fun for them. It's fun for me just to look at and imagine. This has the same label as that one, so I think this is all. Ooh, don't tell me. Oh, yes, yes. Gingerbread cookies? You know this calls for a tea party, right? You know this calls for a tea party with the kids. It absolutely calls for a tea party. Some gingerbread baked with real ginger. No artificial colors or flavors. And assorted favorites, like sugar cookies. Oh, yes. That's what we'll have to do this weekend, you guys. We're going to have to have a tea party with the kids. And they'll have some cookies and some treats. Yes. Yeah, I remember this. Oh, there's her card. Yeah, we'll look at the card. And she sent a bunch of these books. Don't move this box. You know how you go to McDonald's and you can get toys or books? Um, she's collected a bunch of these books to send to the kids. Mr. King's Things. Colors in Canada. But when are we going to do that tomorrow? What time is it going to be? I don't know what time after it's going to be. We'll see. We've got to wait till tomorrow, okay? That's Misha. She's asking, when are we going to do this tomorrow? What time? I don't know what time. Making the moose out of life. Making the most out of life? Moose out of life? Perfect. There's a little beaver there swimming in the water, too. Ninja cowboy. No, ninja cow bear. Cowboy bear. Ninja cowboy bear. First hockey words. Well, you know, that's a Canadian thing, right? We do love ourselves some hockey. I don't play it, but I like to watch watch it sometimes. Dinosaurs from head to tail. The enormous potato. <laughs> I should show that to Papa. He loves, loves potatoes. I love potatoes, too. I just haven't eaten them in so long. Thank you so much. I want to look at your card now. I can't think of your name right off the bat, and that's driving me crazy. There's lots of stickers all over this, too. Maze is out there cranking. He, he needs to hit the sack jack. But see all the stickers? Oh, he's coming out here. Just a minute. Yeah, he's just about out already that, that quick. Yeah, there's a snowman, some snowflakes, and some baubles on there. And then on the back, there's two other snowmen and a snowflake. Nice shiny, shiny stickers. Merry Christmas. Oh, you'll be getting one. To Tracy and family. To one and all. Is, oh, Merry Christmas to one and all. Uh, love, Carrie. Well, you're just like my sister's name. She spells it differently, though. XOXO. Well, hugs and kisses to you, too, Carrie. Yes, look at this. Santa Claus giving a present even to the little doe, little deer. Isn't that cute? We'll make up a little story. This might be a reindeer in training. Not big enough yet to uh, fly the sleigh, but Santa loves him just the same. Yeah, that's a good one. What? Do you have some water out there? Oh, yes, I got something from you before. Yes. Oh, just a minute. I gotta get him a. I'll get you some water. Just a minute. 
Yeah, so I got something from you before. That's right. Ah. My home spun hill. <laughs> from Ontario. Yes. Her note. I won't show you the note. An address, but she has a little snowman printed off down there. That's so cute. So cute. Thank you, Carrie. The kids are going to love this. Seriously. Mally and Misha just took a peek at them. I said, fine, just come look quick and then hit the road. And they did. Gone upstairs. Oh, this is just like Christmas, I'm telling you. This is going to be a long one. This one is just the address on it from Drayton Valley, Alberta. Just wait a minute, Misha. I will look at the code after, but right now I'm having a visit with my friends. You need to go get ready for bed. Oh, I don't want to mess up the, the, the address. Okay, get going, Misha. I mean it. Oh, there's the address. I won't lose that address. Well, it's all taped up. You guys are good. You're good. Let's see here. Oh, here's a card. Let's look at the card. Oh, this is a glittery one. I haven't even got it out. Oh, this is so majestic looking. I'll just bend it back the other way. The most wonderful time of the year. Just leave it on the table for now, Misha. This is the last time I'm telling you. Go get ready for bed. Oh, boy. May the sights and sounds of nature fill your holiday with joy. Love from Deb. Tracy, I thought of you when I saw this. Yes. This looks like the forests around us. And those, uh, those look like real reindeer, perhaps. Um, yes, it looks so magical. Right in a thick forest full of snow. Oh, and it's all full of glitter. I don't know if the camera's picking that up or not. I'll try to get some light in there. I love this one. Love this one. I don't think these guys even have names because they're so wild, but they're so beautiful. Yeah. We'll talk about um, what they do on a daily basis and how they like to live in the woods and enjoy all the creatures of the forest. And Yeah, that's what we'll do. Yeah, that's really nice. What is in this? This tissue paper. Oh, look at this. Looky, looky. First of all, I have to show you. The paper is all full of glitter and confetti dots. Cute. I'll save that for a present. A Christmas tree ornament of the Eiffel Tower. I'm going to get Mazaya to put this one off. She loves the Eiffel Tower. This is beautiful. That'll go on our Santa Claus tree this year. Yep. I'll get her to put that on there. That's awesome. Where did you see this? It's not too big. It's not too small. And it's all full of glitter, too. That's fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Oh, I love it. The kids are going to love it. And I keep ornaments forever, I have to tell you. <laughs> That'll be on my tree the rest of my life. <laughs> no joke. No joke. I'm the kind of person that gets other people's decorations. If they're wonky and funny looking. Not that that's wonky or funny looking. But, yeah, like the Island of Misfit Toys. They need love too. And that's a nice and shiny one that uh, will just brighten their day. I've got to see where this one's from. I'll just get it open. This one is from Kingston, Ontario. From Gina. Do not crush, it says. Ooh. Something's wrapped up here. It's wrapped up nicely. Goodness. 
Oh, I gotta open this card before I show you guys so I can. Yeah, Gina, Gina, Gina. I got your address on here. You wait and see, you guys. You just wait and see. Merry Christmas. Oh, what a fancy card. Wishing you a season of countless wonders and joy. From Gina to Tracy and family. There's a little note in here, so I won't uh, I won't read that out. But look at this. It's like a 3D card. This silver is like a picture frame, and then it goes in. And these snowflakes are poked out, like they're stuck out a little further. And there's glitter all on the white snowflakes and the letters. Ooh. Beautiful. And some red diamonds. I'll say diamonds. Little red gem gems on the reindeer's collar. That's nice. Nice. But let me show you this, guys. Look at this ornament. It says peace, love, and happiness. Oh, my goodness. I love this. I don't have an ornament that says peace, love, and happiness. Again, this is going to be on my tree for the rest of my life. And it'll be on my kids' trees after I'm long gone. Yes, this is beautiful. I love this. Thank you so much. I'll have to get uh, get the kids. That'll be me and my hubby as we get older. <laughs> Full of peace, love, and happiness. It's really shiny. It's heavy, too. This is beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Thank you so much. I really, really love this. Oh, just fantastic. Fan-freaking-tastic. I want to make sure I keep all the envelopes together so they don't get mixed up. Love it. I'm loving all the love that you guys are sending my way. Our way. My family's way. I think this is the last thing. It's a heavy one. This one is from Texas Farm or Mom. Yes, I believe that, um, if it's the same lady. Okay, let's just see. I hope this arrives before Christmas, Jana. Yes, it did. Just before Christmas. Wow. Ah. Here's a card. Ooh. Oh my goodness, I've never seen a card like this either. There's a nice uh, little note in here. I'll make sure I put her link down below. Texas Farmer Mom. And yeah, you absolutely have to check her out. This is a heavy card. It feels heavy. Like it's rock solid. But... I don't know if you made this or not. Did you make this? It's like heavy cardstock. It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Made by Texas Farmer Mom. Yes, she did make this. Oh my gosh. This is fancy. Look at this. It's not just glitter. It's like it's um it's not like glitter on other cards. It's almost like soft glitter. I don't know how to explain it. And then there's the snow down here pokes out a little more, but it's shiny, it's sparkly. And this polar bear, I love polar bears. I love polar bears. Yes, this is beautiful. Winter wishes. And then this awesome little note in here, I'll make sure I read it. I'll cover it, but even on the inside of the card, you can see the there's designs and it's like textured, textured. This is wonderful. Thank you so much, Jana. And then she said, oh, this is going to be perfect for adding to our collection. I saw Santa in Texas. You guys know I love books, right? I love kids' books. I think I'll read kids' books even when I don't have little kids anymore. Um, yes. Again, I'd love to see Texas. I really would. Children's books. It's such a good way to connect with kids and uh, nurture their mind and tickle their imaginations and really play characters. Santa is coming to Texas. I think I have one kind of like this, Santa is coming to Nova Scotia. So I bet you they have books all over. 
but now they'll have one that's like the Nova Scotia one, only it'll be about Texas. So they'll learn. They'll learn something new. And it's a Christmas story. <laughs> the 12 days of Christmas in Texas. This is fantastic. Oh, I love the illustrations in this. Yes. Look at this one. Oh, I love it. We will be reading these tomorrow, 100%. I can't wait. I might even read these tonight myself, and then I'll read them to the kids tomorrow. But I think that's all of them. I don't want to miss anybody. I don't want to miss anybody. Oh, I do have one more here. <laughs> I almost forgot. Jeez, Tracy. This one is from... Red Deer, Alberta. Hmm. That's where my brother's from. Maybe it's from him. My brother and his beautiful family. Come on. Maybe. Oh, this is a cute one. Let's just see. Oh, it is from my brother. She, Natasha is his wife, my sister-in-law. She's such an awesome lady. She's so, so creative and crafty and loving and funny and beautiful. She really is. She always writes a nice long Christmas letter. Fills us all in on what the goings on of her family and my niece Ellie and uh, nephew Sawyer. But look at this card. It's like baby forest animals. It looks right soft, like a soft card. Like babies in the woods in the winter, but just getting together to hang out. May the beauty of nature fill your heart with peace and joy throughout the year. Merry Christmas. Love Josh, Natasha, Ellie, and Sawyer. And a little heart there. Thanks, guys. I love you so much. I can't wait to see you guys again. I know you'll be coming sometime, but... Uh, I wish you could just move in with me. <laughs> You guys are fantastic but yes that's it uh, I can't express express how much I enjoy this I really do um, and I hope you don't think that I'm just saying you know oh, I love you and everything like as being fake or anything I truly truly have a connection with you guys you're like my best friends you really are um, I have my family life going on but when I want to have a friend you know a friend just hanging out just having tea just making supper just folding stinking laundry you guys are right there with me and I just love it and for you guys to bother to s s send me a card like it just it warms my heart and it really puts smiles on my kids faces and I just I really want to express that I really truly do love each and every one of you out there but I'm gonna cut this off now because it's probably it's probably super long, but I know you guys don't seem to mind that. But, um, yeah, thanks again, guys. I have a table full of goodies, and we have a tea party to do tomorrow, I think. Yes, we do. So you guys will be coming along, absolutely, because it's me and you throwing this party together for the kids. All right, guys. Well, happy winter solstice, I'll say, too, because today's the 21st. Yesterday was the 20th. But... Peace, love, and happiness today and every single day. Please like, share, and subscribe if you so choose. But if not, that's okay too. I still love you. I still want all the happiness in the world for each and every one of you out there. I certainly do. I really, really do. So, okay guys, I've got a mess to clean up and uh, a party to plan. So, don't forget, you're invited to the Christmas tea party tomorrow. And uh, I'll see you then. So, have a good night or have a good morning. And I'll see you later. Bye!